Hi, yeah. everybody. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We're Happy Heart Treasures, resellers in Lincoln, Nebraska. Rehomers of stuff. <laughs> wonder if anybody ever gets tired of that, but it is. Do you Res get tired of that? Resellers is like the general name of what we do. Yeah, but, but we're in re honesty, Yeah. We don't just resell. We find things, new homes. Happy yeah, homes. Do. Happy homes. Happy Heart Treasures. Yeah. All right, as for today, today is, it's been a busy weekend. Uh, we have 27 things, I think, 27 or 28 things 28. to mm -hmm. go out right now. So we have plenty of things to show you that sold. We have a lot of great sales. We have a lot of average sales, but that we call bread and butter. Yeah. Um, but Ooh, we, we could have also, a slice of bread with a butter slice on we it. We could do that too. <laughs> we, <laughs> we also, hmm. um, we're going to talk about, I made, this is, this is my turn. I made a couple, a couple rookie mistakes, honestly, in doing a couple buys that we did recently, and I'm going to talk about that and how it's completely on it's me, a we. my fault. It's a we thing because some of the things I got were that way too. Yeah. I just but, didn't tell you yet. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, we're going to talk about rookie mistakes that we have made, but we do have a lot of things to ship out, and so we're going to get started with that. Are you ready, Donna? I'm ready. Let's go. All right. Let's go. All right, what did you just throw in your coffee? A coffee bean. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, first up, Donna, box 60. Six zero. Whoa. Box 60. All right, in box 60, we have yarn. Woo! Right yarn. there. Four skeins of yarn sold for $14.24, and that is going to Texas, which is already on the board. Next up is something on the shelf. Um, where is it? What is it? It's the air filter. Mm -hmm. It is back here on this shelf right here. We're going to grab that. This is from, this is from the Bella Vista. If you watch that videos day one, got this for $5. I'm going to pop a picture of it. So I'm not going to get it out of the box. And this air filter sold for $37.99. And it is going to California, which is already on the board. Next up, box 94. Next up is box 94. She already got it. <laughs> uh, right here, bows. This is bows. We have gotten three bows things in the last two weekends, and I believe all three are going out today. This is a pair of set of bows earbuds, wired earbuds. And this sold for $84.99. Got them for $5, and this is going to Orlando, Florida, which is already on the board. Wow. Also. Also in here, we have this. This is a Canon AE-1 program camera body only. This brings us to the first discussion of rookie mistakes by us resellers we've been doing this for a long time okay this was part of the buyout that we did last week that we talked about uh where we went and talked to the lady and it was a wonderful conversation it was a great time blah 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 in that video i talked a lot about ma making sure electronics work making sure to check battery compartments making and sure boxes. all of that and boxes and you know what i didn't do any of that stuff in that video, I talked a lot about Donna said I was poo pooing, but I'm like, well, you have to make sure if the batteries are not corroded and if it works and if this and if that. Well, this the buyout that we did, we had such a good conversation with the lady and we just made a pile and I didn't look at a single thing. If you watched that video, you saw there was two things that I saw corrosion on when I was filming. I'm like, well, you know, that happens. There was probably a third, I would say a third of the electronics that had corrosion in the battery compartment. And then this camera that they had, um, they had $175 on it with a question mark. This sold for $59.99, but the whole camera bag that this had, it had two or three lenses in it, but none of the lenses were Canon. They were all Sears, which are not worth anything. So- um, things were something. <laughs> it's worth it. I have them on dollar auction. They have a dollar bid, so <laughs> they're worth something. Um, so anyway, I didn't look at them. 
I didn't in the video I looked and it had a Canon cap on it, so I said, "Oh, this lens is Canon." And it wasn't. It was actually a Sears lens. And then also the the biggest thing is the camera that I thought, "Well, here's a hundred dollars back right away." I didn't actually look in the box, and it, the battery's dead. The battery's in there, and the battery's dead. But the char there's no charger. So now I have to buy a charger off of eBay and wait for it to get in so I can test it, so I can sell it. And that's all like rookie mistakes. I should have. I should know better. I should be popping the caps off, you know, one or two of the cameras I just had to throw away because there was so much corrosion. Uh, another one, the battery was like all swollen. It was a nine volt and it was all swollen. Uh, it wasn't much corrosion. I was able to clean it up, but I should know better than that. And then I should have done that. And then I could have either left it behind or said, well, look, I have to clean up, you know, this corrosion, whatever and whatever so i was very disappointed when i was going through the electronics but so what are the rookie mistakes they need to remember check things uh number one just check the battery compartments if it has a battery compartment if it has a screw on it and you need a screwdriver well then you can't really do much check the battery compartments especially old electronics because there's a good chance the batteries might still be in there from 40 years ago um and number two, check the boxes, make sure all the pieces are there, make sure that everything you need is there, and make sure everything, does, like it doesn't look all scratched up or anything like that. Just look the things over, basically. If you can power them on, power them on and test them, especially if they're high dollar items. Um, just best to do that stuff. Obviously, when you're going to garage sales like, like, Blue, like Bluetooth headphones, you're not going to test that stuff or whatever. But when you're doing a buyout, grabbing a bunch of electronic stuff or whatever, do what you can. At least do a little bit of looking into it to make sure it looks good. But I just piled everything. I'm like, woohoo, I'll just take it all. And I should not have. So that was a mistake. But whatever. We got... Uh, take we, the we time actually, to look at it. We actually sold two cameras. Uh, we'll get to the other one later. But this one sold for $59.99. And it is going to Texas again, which is already on the board. All right, while well, we have box 94 out, we have another box 94 item. Uh, this right here is the power cord. And this is a big, beautiful, beautiful. Another Bose. Bose speaker, Bluetooth speaker. I uh, got this at a garage sale for $10, and this sold for $126. It has a case on it. Yeah, this is like a case. You can take it off. It's the silver, silver stereo with an orange case. So $126, and this is going to North Carolina, which we already have. Hmm. Not much coloring going on so far. So we'll set that back here. You know, speaking of this back wall, we have these pictures sitting here because I thought I'm going to try to hang them from the one board up there. I don't know if I want to do that. What are you going to do instead? You know what would be cool? What would be cool? Do you remember when we first got married and bought our first house? Yes. We got, I'll, I'll try to find a picture and hopefully I'll pop a picture up. We had a basement with a, with a brick wall. It was like cinder block wall and we got a projector and we projected the Denver Broncos logo, the horse on the wall. We traced it and we painted it and it was absolutely beautiful. It was downstairs in like the man cave TV room. And we had blue leather couches. Yeah, we had blue leather couches Denver that were the blue. same color as the, as the logo. It was super cool. Um, that would be cool here, but I don't know that I'm ever gonna like try to hang these. So, okay, well, not sure what I'm gonna do. Which I thought of that this morning, anyway. And I want to say the lady Lisa that we well dealt with. You know, I asked her. I'm like, well, I said we got to make sure these things work, and she says, oh, they all work. I don't blame her. I'm not mad at her because she of course thinks they all work because the last time she saw them in action they were probably working you know and she didn't check the battery cases she wouldn't think of that so i don't blame the lady i totally blame myself um that was my bad i should know better than that all right we're gonna change it up a little bit donna uh where you're gonna find a flashlight that we bought the other day and down in the cabinet behind you oh there's a box nope over here there's the box on the bottom and slide it out there okay. oh and she got new toes i don't know if you can see but they're beautiful <laughs> toes with flowers on them her daughter took her for mother's day oh and we goodness. actually sold two of these oh okay all right so we sold you want to take one out of the box okay these are military flashlights i got these at a garage sale for 50 cents a piece and they're really cool because in here 
They have lenses. They have red and blue and clear lenses. And we've sold two of them so far. We have 11 of them on. We've sold two. One of them for $11.03. And that one is going to uh, Kentucky, which we already have on the board. Okay. And then the second one sold for full price of $11.99. And that one is going to Washington. State? Washington State, which oh. is already on the board. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Man, not much on the board so far. All right, next up is in box 46. 46. 46. Oh, I thought this was much smaller. No, it's a big old picnic table. We've had this forever. It's a Monster High picnic table. And it got an offer for $7.50. And that's where it, that's what it's going for. And it is going to Maryland, which we already have on the board. Okie dokie. Any coloring today at all? They're not going to let me color. Apparently not. All right, got a pair of shoes. Shoes. Actually, we have like three pair of shoes. Okay. Okay, first we have this pair of jelly... What do you call those? Crocs? They're kind of like jelly, Crocs. but they're Crocs. And they sold for $15. And they are going to Illinois. Did we do Illinois yet? I don't know. We already, yep. we already did Illinois. Man, this coloring is boring. And then we have a pair of Choco sandals. They're tan, strappy I just sandals. I the light, so now I can't see. <laughs> Look into the light. Probably right there. This pair of Choco sandals right here. And they sold for $22. And they are going to Tennessee, which I think we already colored. No. Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> we only sell to certain states, apparently. Uh, a pair of Pumas. They're kind of a funky color. Oh, yeah. Funky These colors. are fun. Yeah, those have been on here forever, and I took an offer for $12 for those. And they are going to Texas, which is already colored. Already colored. Okay. All right, now we are upstairs in my office. And we have like three things at least going out of here. Four, I think. First of all, here's a cookbook. Country, cotton country? Cotton, cotton country. Cotton country collection. Yep. Sold for $9.99. And this is from Monroe. Monroe. Junior League of Monroe, Inc. Louisiana? We don't know where it's from. Okay. We don't know where it's from. But it's going to Texas, which is already on the board. Okay. Next, we have a Sonic the Hedgehog book. Where would this be? The third one up there. Sonic the Hedgehog. There it is. This sold for $13.50. And it's going to Colorado. That will be a new, new, new state. Coloring. Finally. Colorado, we do not have yet. Uh, next, we have a DVD up here The Father Dowling Mysteries Complete Series. There it is. Donna found it. That's $16.99. We used to watch this show when I was young. And that's going to Oregon, which is another <gasps> new, new one. one. Look at this Colorado and Oregon. Yes. Now we just have to remember. Oh, we also sold our last Folio Society book, which will be way over on the right, uh, part of the $700 buyout. And this is The Scent, Ascent of Man, The Ascent of Man. Look how fancy that is. Mm. And that is Folio Society, $20, and it's going to Georgia. Is that new? Georgia should be new also. Correct. Yes. Just check it. We have one more up here. And it is Red Sonya, She Devil with a Sword, one of Donna's favorite comics. And it'll be it'll, <laughs> it'll be over here on the bottom of that pile right there. It's not my favorite. It's not her favorite. <laughs> $21.99. Somebody got that for. And that is going to Greenville, South Carolina. Ooh, South Carolina. That's a new one. Yep, that's one of Donna's places she wants to go. Why do you want to go there, Donna? Harry Tornado and Haley. And who else? Bearded Thrift. Yep, she would love to go meet some people there. Um, all right, I think that's it up here for books and DVDs from up here. Let's go downstairs and mark the states. Something else we wanted to mention before we get to the other, you know, how very much you love Rookie me. Mistake. Yes, how very much I love you. And I do very much. Um, <laughs> get me, get we, me were, we were pretty blown away by the uh, comments on the MRE. Yeah, that we had to eat it. That we have to eat it. 
the, what we were blown away by, you know, I expected that we'd get comments, but it was like comments from people we've never heard of. And it's really cool to see all these people and names we've never seen commenting that watched the video, you know. Yes. Next or, time you comment, tell us where you're from. Or they are commented about, um, what did we talk about? About the direction of our channel, about like doing yard sale videos, picking yep. videos. Mm -hmm. And it's not so much what all they said. We appreciate it all, but it was like, wow, all these people that have never commented before, we didn't know. That discussion was at the very end of the video. So we so thought. they all watched it. Yeah. So we thought, you know, we may get comments, but it'll be from the same people that we know watch all the way through, which we love and appreciate. But it was like, wow, look at all these other people. So. That's really cool to kind of see the channel grow and to see new names and stuff. Don't get me wrong, all you people that comment a lot, keep commenting because we yes, super we do appreciate love it. the comments. They keep us going. Yep, we always, and when one of us reads it and we heart it or respond, we always make sure the other one saw it. Hey, did you see that comment? So yeah. we really do appreciate it. But we will be eating uh, a meal ready to eat bag uh, on a video this week. Yeah. Uh, not this one. We have too many things to ship, but... Uh, we will be picking something out, and we will do it, and we will film it and see how <laughs> wonderful it is. So. Well, you never know. Our friend Larry was in the military, and so he's given us some pointers about maybe what might be good. And so was uh, several other people commented. Um, Teresa said some were good. Yeah, yeah. And then Corey yep. said some were good. Yep. So we're, we're going to do that on a video this week. All right? Yeah. All right, let's pick some more things. Okay. Oh, you got to get the, the states. Oh, we don't want to miss that. We get Oregon. We get Oregon, Colorado, Georgia, and South Carolina. Oregon. South Carolina Georgia. could be yellow. And Colorado could be yellow. We're just trying to get the colors, obviously, not next to each no, other. Oh, they're touching. The best we can. You well, did barely. it wrong. You told me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> You'll Did be okay. we do Georgia too? We got Georgia also. She's thinking hard on this, folks. All right, Georgia also. All right, let's go and see if we can get some more states. Okay. All right, next up, Donna is in box 97. 97? Where's that outside? No, it's in here. 97. All right, this is one of the electronics, not that one. It's in the square box, red box. There we go. You can slide that other one next to those. And this is from the buyout that we did. This was in very good condition. This one is like new. The buyout um, we did? Yes. From Lisa? Yes. Polaroid Sun 660 camera. It looks absolutely beautiful and like new. And that sold for $39.99 and it is going to Oklahoma. So with this. Oh, she's sliding out the bottom. With this and this together. We are at this is a hundred dollars 99 dollars 98 cents so we paid 247 for that buyout and right here is a hundred dollars well after fees and everything 85 you're so t well you're so, you, <laughs> you're so you want, technical if, if you want to if you want to you know if you want to actually talk about your profits and what you're making your money back you have to figure in the fees yeah. so yes but we're we're getting there <laughs> See what I love with you guys. <sighs> yeah. All right, Donna, enough of this electronic stuff. Let's get into some of your things, right? Okay, yeah, box number 70. My things are more fun. <laughs> All right, box 70. You're looking for two storybook tiny tots. Sweetheart Andy Ann. Little dolls. Oh, they're not as small as I thought. They're yeah. bigger than I thought. Yeah. Is that Raggedy Ann and Andy? Or just... Kinda, yeah. Kinda, sorta. Anyway, those two dolls sold for $15. Um, they came from a state clean-out. And they are going to Delaware, which I know is already on the board. They're cute. Did you get their little eyes? I don't know if I did or not. Aren't they cute? There's their little eyes. Aren't they cute? They're cute. Alright, Donna in the record drawer. Ow. Close. Hmm. Uh, right there on top. Fun just journey. listed this the other day. No, no, no. The, the big one. Just listed this the other day. And it's Priscilla, Gypsy Queen. And this sold for $12.50. And it's going to Georgia. Georgia? Georgia. Which we just marked. So we're good there. 
And then in the DVD side, there is a lot of uh, six Blu-rays. They're Star Trek. It's a Star Trek lot. That's Hunger Games and Star Trek. This lot of uh, Star Trek DVD Blu-rays, actually. They're not so, Star Trek. Yeah, they are. Oh, it's, it has Star Trek and Avatar and Wonder Woman and Pacific Rim. But this lot of six Blu-ray movies sold for $13.79. Nice. And it is going to Wisconsin. Ooh, I don't have that one yet. Oops. All righty. After that, this is probably Donna's favorite sale of the entire weekend. It is in box E. E. This came from a clean out that we did. Okay, this is from a, I think a clean out we did, I think. Um, but this is Donna's favorite sale of the weekend. Are you ready? I took the batteries out. <laughs> <laughs> Are we ready for what? <laughs> oh, it's a funky chicken, and I took the batteries out. Do we because... want to put batteries in to show the people? Yes. Yes. All right, hold on. Okay, for funsies, we put batteries back in. We are ready, Donna. I turned it off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. They say it third time's a charm. Yeah, we need Larry. <laughs> Speaking of Larry, we have to remember to tell that story. I went to everybody there about the bird. Uh, yeah, so what do you think that sold for, people? Well, it sold for $33.75. Nice. You guys, I have one more. Do you really? Yes. That's awesome. I have another one in the box. But see, you've got to take the batteries out. Oh, telephone call. Are we done? Okay, we're getting through some things here. I have two stories to tell yet. Uh oh. Uh, two the first stories. one's very short, and we're going to pop up this picture. If you watch our videos and you watch... Where are we popping <laughs> it up at? If you watch the video from Bella Vista, we picked up a pink ceramic Mr. Oh. Christmas tree and we paid $5 and it said the lights didn't work. Yeah, so I said in the said, video... And the guy said when we picked it up, he says, yeah, when things don't work, we just put them in the side of the office and I have a whole pile of things I need to look at. And we she just, says it just, just doesn't work anymore. So we're like, oh, we have a Larry who can fix that kind of thing. So Larry was here two nights ago, yeah. and we sent it with him. We're like, Larry, you want to give this a shot? He's like, oh, I'll look at it. So he took it, and he sent me a picture this morning. <laughs> and he's like, he sent me a picture, and all the lights work on it. And I'm like, oh, you fixed it. And he's like, he's like, it's amazing what you can do when you put the batteries in the right way. <laughs> we didn't even look at it. You well, we guys. never took it out of the box. We just thought, well, the lights don't work. We'll send it to Larry. Rookies, rookies, rookies. We are all no, the no, time no, 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 doing no, no. stuff. We didn't even check it. No, I didn't intend to check it because they um, told us it didn't work. Yes, we should have checked it, but we had a plan. We thought, well, they're broken. It don't you know, work. It's kind of like it's kind of like when you like a guy and you leave your jacket in his car, so he has to talk to you again. We 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 always have to take Larry something so that he has to bring it back to us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, so that's our story. So thank you, Larry. We uh. You did and it again. Ruth. You fixed it again. <laughs> so, all right, we need to get back to... What's your other story? We're going to get to that in a minute. Let's get another few more things pulled. <laughs> all right, we <laughs> box 92. Let me grab that. You picked him up by his head. Well, technically he's already dead. That's all right, not, box, nine, that's nice. box 92. We have two more pipes this old. Um... I will just pop up the pictures of the pipes when I get to them here. Are they from which five? Where did we get all these pipes? Oh, this was a state sale. We bought a bunch of pipes for $100, and we've sold a few. And we're, we're in the profit now. <laughs> this one we named Dr. Grabo 1. It was the first pipe. It's just Dr. Grabo. This sold for $19.50. Where'd it go? Oh, where did it go? Arizona, which we already have. Arizona it is. And then this one we have a 224. It was stamped 224. And this sold for $9.95. And 
And it's going to Cincinnati, Ohio, which we do not have yet. There's a new one, Ohio. I think purple will probably be best. Save the orange for Pennsylvania. Ooh, I came really, oh, really close. Oh my goodness, look. You can't he, let me do this. He almost went outside the line again. <laughs> but I didn't. Oh my goodness. Okay, then I also sold one of my items, um, 95. This was our third Bose item of the weekend. You sold all three? All three of them. This one just sold like an hour before we started filming. We just got that one. Yep. Just got it last weekend. What, three days ago? Three days ago. Paid $15 for it, sold for $69.99. Nice. And it is going to Colorado, which we already did this morning. Then in box H, we actually showed this in a video and Donna, I took it out and Donna's like, oh, look at this, somebody should buy this. She touched it and it sold. If you touch it, it will sell. Right in the top of box H, there is an Adidas bag right there. Ooh, and it's a nice one. Yep, see the Adidas right there. Adidas duffel bag that sold for $13.49. What else is in this box that we can touch? <laughs> Stuff. Look at that, cross stitch. Somebody needs a cross stitch. Ooh, that's a brand new kit. That's going to New York, which is already on the board. All right, now I'm gonna tell you a crushing story. We have a few more solds that Donna's gonna pull in just a little bit, but I'm gonna tell you about my crushing blow to my Saturday night. Saturday afternoon, I'm in the garage. I don't remember what Donna was doing, but I was just doing the garage, doing my thing, and I'm listing, and I'm starting to go through the things from the buyout and garage sales, and I'm like, woohoo, we got so much good stuff, and it was really going well. That's when I ran into, I started working all the electronics. I thought, I'm going to knock out all these cameras, all these electronics, and I started working. That's when I ran into the corrosion issues and everything else, and I was like, oh, kind of disappointed, Detected. mad at myself for not doing a better job of checking these things. And I'm like, oh, dang it. And I thought, this stinks. I need to change a pace. So I thought, you know what? Over on the other side of the garage, I have all of these really good um, Lennox Halloween and things to list. You know what? I need to do a few of them. Cheer me up. They're really good things because this is kind of a bummer. So, you guys, <laughs> I opened two boxes. The first box, we're gonna, I'll show you out there. I'll take you out there and show you. Actually, let's do that. So this is the garage and it is a complete mess. Back there, I still have more Lennox stuff. I've been working on all this stuff. We got some stuff for dollar auction, whatever. Very first box I opened was this Spooky Town What Just Married uh, box. And here it is. Isn't it beautiful? It's pretty. Pretty cool, right? Except when I opened it, all three of these little crosses on top were all laying in the styrofoam, they were busted off. And I was like, really? Like, I was just like, man, that stinks. Well, I guess we may have some broken pieces. And so we got some super glue last night and I glued them back on. And since I glued them back on, this one isn't worth a lot, like $20, $30. I'm probably just gonna put it on the dollar auction because it's repaired now. So then I decided I was really getting bummed out and then I thought, let's grab one of the good ones, okay? And let's just see what happens. So Donna's grabbing here. This is the Dead City Police Station. And it's pretty cool. It has lights. It has noise. It has all kinds of cool things. And this thing is worth like $200 to $250, honestly. Well, I opened it up. I'm not going to take it all the way out. I opened it up. And if you see here, see this guy in the cage? It hangs. Well, when you turn it on, like this thing shakes. And it'll shake. And, and like some of the noises is hit the guy screaming. And that is not in the box. It's missing. Man. So I was just like, crap, now what? So I had those two, so I just did all that corroded stuff and then I did, I opened two boxes and they were both just this like, had issues. Um, I'll get to that here in just a second, I'm gonna tell. So this is Saturday night, I just did those two, first two boxes and I got totally dejected and Larry and Ruth actually just come over like right before they got here, they were on their way over and I had told Donna, she came out here and I told her. He said, I quit. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, what do you mean I quit? And I'm like, 
I said, well, I got corrosion issues. I got, you know, stuff missing out of the cameras. And my most expensive pieces are broke. <laughs> I, was, I was like, I opened two things and there's missing pieces. It's broke. I'm like, this stinks. Like, I was completely dejected. I was like, I'm done. I'm done for the night. I mean, we had company coming away. I'm like, I'm done. I don't even want to deal with this right now. <laughs> So I was really kind of bummed out. We they, we had company, they had dinner, whatever. And I messaged in this group with other uh, resellers that we know. And I'm like, man, first two I opened, this happened, blah, blah, blah. And then Teresa, uh, Grams and Pops, Grams, she messages, she says, oh, I've had that happen. She goes, repair it, glue the stuff back on, and then it'll sell. It'll still sell for a little bit less than what it's listed at. And so I'm like, okay, well, I guess I can do that. But now it's like I have all these boxes, probably 15 boxes, probably project pieces. So you need a project. Well, you I have a, a lot. Of, I have a lot of things. I can't, you know, I don't want to spend a lot of time on each thing. So I put it off. And then yesterday afternoon, I thought, okay, I'm going to dig into these a little bit. So that's when last night we got some super glue and I glued this back together. I'll do some with that. There's two other behind Donna here. Two other behind Donna, and then another thing, the light bulbs for these, they don't have any of the light bulbs, they just have one string that's a whole, like, eight or ten lights all strung together, so I don't have any single light bulbs to send oh, with them. because they so we're missing the that. town together. But this one, the little tr plants and the sign and everything, there's, like, glue, it looks like there's obviously glue underneath them and everything, so this one I'm just going to put on dollar, it's not worth a lot anyway. I'm going to put on dollar auction and then this one doesn't work at all it's a cool thing and you turn it on i put batteries in you turn it on and your the moon lights up and this witch spins around but it doesn't do anything so i'm going to put it on dollar auction so i was pretty dejected i'm like well this sucks but you know whatever so then i got out the this i got out the police one again i looked up all the so sold comps there's one listed for 250 dollars and that's it and there's six sold and i started looking at the ones that sold and one of them sold without the basket man in the cage and another one sold with like a couple little pieces broken off for like a couple hundred dollars so i'm like you know what wow Quite well it was offer of so i thought you know what everything else works i tested it out so i listed it actually have it have it listed now for two or 189.99 so I think it's still going to sell. I actually got a message this morning. Somebody's thinking about buying it because they had this and they dropped it and it shattered, oh. but they still have the man in the cage. Serious? Yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, so they're thinking about buying it. So now I know that it will sell anyway. So then I got out this. This sells for like 100 to 150, but it has, I'm not going to pull all this stuff out, obviously, but it does have, there's a little figure, the little man with the boy picking apples. Um, it has all the baskets, it has everything, but there's no light for it. And there's two chips like by the grass in the front. Two small little chips. So I put it on for $100, disclosed all that stuff. Put it on for $100 and we'll see what happens. So I'm still going to do really well on the stuff, but I'm going to have to look each thing over. Maybe do some fixing, do some disclosing, do all that stuff. So it was really a bummer at the time. I'm still glad I bought them, obviously, but... It's going to it's gonna be a little more work, and it takes more time to do. But, hope, you know, when they're worth that much, it's worth spending a little more time on. So, um, get some crazy glue. I don't, like this stuff Super we got, glue. like this stuff we got at garage sales. And so I could, I would, there's no way at a garage sale I would sit out there and pull them all out and look them all over. And then I probably wouldn't even buy them because I'd be like, well, they're broken, but actually they're still worth it. So this was a good still sale. She's staring at her toes. That's what she's doing. Her new toes she got. <laughs> so it was a good it was a good buy. It's going to be great, but I was totally dejected. So we have three or four more things to pull. Should we go get them? Yeah. All right. I can't believe you told them I was looking at my toes. Well, I had you on camera and you were just staring down at the floor. I'm like, "Yep, she's looking at her toes." <laughs> All right, let's go. Donna apparently had a couple of disappointments too. I I went ahead and took pictures of them to put them on dollar. Actually, I had a couple I wanted to show you. I went ahead and took pictures of them and put them on dollar, but we got these. I was so excited. I just picked them all up. They were all masterpiece porcelain we've sold before. But then I got ready to take pictures and his little 
Oh, his little like antenna or yeah, whatever. Yeah, they're broken off. And then on my little horse, I didn't notice it, but there's a flower. The flower's broken off. Missing. Yeah. And so, you know, just double check, look your stuff over, especially if you're doing a buyout. Yeah. You know, wouldn't be so sad if it were just from a clean out that we did, you know, but it's a buyout. We paid money for it. So, yeah. But they're not too noticeable. So we've been doing this a long time and look at, we're not very good at this. Why anybody actually watches us, I have no idea because we kind of suck at this. Because you're cute. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And tomorrow we actually have two appointments to go look at possible like buyout situations again. So I guarantee you we will be checking things more carefully tomorrow. Yeah. All right, down to box 70. Box 70. And you're looking for yarn again. Brown yarn. Number 997 it has on it. There it is. There it is. And that sold for $14.99. It's a bag of this Himalaya yarn. $14.99 and that is going to Sturgis, South Dakota. Woohoo! That's a new state. Orange. The Grams and Pops say hi to the yarn next time you're in Sturgis. All right, box next is in box 93. All right, box. I called you box. <laughs> okay, box. Yeah. <laughs> I know this video is getting long, so I rush my words, and sometimes my mouth works faster than my brain. Right here it is. Vintage books from my friend Ruth. This is a spelling grade four book from 1943. It sold for $9.99. Okay. And it is going to Missouri, which already is on the board. Okay. Next. Arr. All right. The last thing, Donna, is box R. Arg. Arg. Happy High Treasures. Arg. So box R. Oh. In box R, Donna, you're looking for the thing that just sold. It's a military survival fishing kit. Okay. Somewhere in there. Oh, it's little. It's got all these things in it, and if you can read it, it's got fishing, um... It's a military survival fishing kit, yeah. and it sold for $21.50. And there's a spoon and, and it's going to Oregon, which we had earlier today. Okie doke. All right, Donna, it's time to color, and then we'll wrap up the video. Okay. All right, Donna, here's your handiwork. Colored. Getting better. Getting more and more filled in. We need this area. This area? <laughs> That's a big area. That's a big area. Yep. Yep. A little bit up there in the yep. in the northeastern hemisphere. Or and Alaska. Yeah, so we've, sold we've sold to Alaska, to Alaska and Hawaii several before. times, but we didn't have the map yet. Yep. Okay, I think we covered about everything that we're going to cover. We did like and subscribe, share with your friends. Do all those things. Yes. We, this is a lot, a lot into your brain today from us. We're a lot. Somebody you, said that they watch our video while they ship and package and stuff like that. So, hey. Yeah. What have you learned today watching us? <laughs> Don't be rookies like us. Don't be like us. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, um, thanks for watching, everybody. We do appreciate all of you, especially those of you still watching. You're the best. Yes. All right, Donnie, you got anything else? Nothing else. Nothing else. Like and subscribe. All right, cool. We will see you on the next one. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We are Happy Heart Treasures. Bye.